What's up YouTube, Xander the Legend. Today we have some random openings. Uh, we're out doing some shopping with my wife and daughter and I came across these. I have no idea what could be inside of it, but they are magic cards. It's a 10 card pack by uh, Prestine. It looks like from a local card, or not a local card shop. This is just from like a little hobby store. So these are probably really crappy, but we're gonna take a look at them and see what we can pull from that. Also, I saw one of these at my local Walmart, and I'm a big Angel fan anyways, so whenever I can get a foil premium Angel, I'm going to go for it, and plus I couldn't really tell, it looks like a Born of the Gods, a Journey of the Nyx, and I don't, a Dark Ascension maybe, so we're going to be opening that up and taking a look at all of that. <clears throat> going to use our handy dandy Paula Dean knife to go straight into this. Hopefully, I pull something really amazing and everybody thinks I'm really stupid because I don't know what the card is. That is our best case scenario. I can already tell you, these are actually some of the newer sets. This is, I mean, it's not brand new, but uh, I believe that's uh, Journey of the Knicks. A War Wing Siren, common. <clears throat> Magic 12, common. Grim Guardian. An Aerial... Predation? I'm not even sure what that set is. Is that a Ravnica set, maybe? Lash of the Whip. A Johnny's Presence. Agent of Horizons. Oh, wow, that's like an older set there. A Darkling Stalker. Sweet old artwork on that card. Take a look at that. Four mana, one, one. You can regenerate him. Or you can pay a Swamp, and he gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. And uh, Farika's Chosen. And a Plains. So yeah, it's not it's not worth it. We paid a dollar for it. It's ten commons, right? One, two, three, six. Ten commons, not even a single uncommon. So definitely not worth our money there. Most commons are all worth ten cents each. It's really, really rare. You'll find anything over ten cents. Look at that. <laughs> they gave me two of those. That's funny. I made money on this pack already. Oh, wow, this pack's really screwed up, so we'll see. A Cast into Darkness. Ray of Dissolution. Eye Gouge. And, wow, what set is that from? Reconstruction. One mana sorcery. Bring one artifact from your graveyard to your hand. We'll have to take a look at that. I don't know what set that would be. I mean, that's a really old set. It doesn't have an indicator, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Thassus Bounty, a 13 set, a War Falcon. A 14 set of Liturgy of Blood. Bottle Gnomes. Golden Hind. And a Lagona Band Elder. So very, very random cards from those packs. Kind of what we were expecting. But look at this. It doesn't look like it's seen much play. That's a good sign. If you know much about this card or what set it's from, I'm going to look it up here in a little bit. But let me know in the comments below. And if you think that's a good find for a random $1 pack at a convenience store. Straight in to our Booster 3 pack. So I was right about the journey to Nyx. Oh, that's a return to Ravnica booster pack. I've never actually opened a pack of that. The skirmisher is pretty sweet. Six mana, four, four angel of flying. At the beginning of each combat, choose first strike, vigilance, or lifelink. Creatures you control gain that ability until end of turn. Always like adding that to my collection. And it is a born of the gods in the middle. We'll save the Ravnica for last, because I've never opened that. Uh, yeah, we'll just do them in order, newest to oldest. Font of Vigor, Perfix Insight, The Chosen, so yeah, a lot of those were Journey to Nyx. Kind of Man, Lightning DM, Eagle of the Watch, Desecration Plagues, Starfall, Cast into Darkness, Warhounds, our first uncommon. Armory of Iros, our second. 
Reviving Melody is our third, and our rare or mythic is a Dictate of Erebos. Five mana enchantment for Flash. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Oh, we also got a premium card. That kind of makes it worth it right there. Uh, a Sigild Sink. It is a common, so not worth much money, but always cool to pull a premium card pack. I wonder how rare it is to get that Return to Ravnica pack. I wonder if that makes it worth it. We're going to skip right over our commons. Nobody really cares about those. I should have done it the first time, but you get what you get. Gorgon's Head. Passes Rebuff. Solbon, in our rare or mythic, is a hero of Ar Arosa. Two mana, two, two. Four spells you cast cost one colorless less to cast. Heroic, whenever you cast a spell that targets the Iros, put a plus one, plus one counter on him as well. And an island and a crack. Okay. I don't even know what's good in this set. We can't really play with it, depending on the format you're playing, so... Whatever I open, you guys have to leave me a comment below and let me know if this is good. Okay, so yeah, that was a Ravnica indicator that I thought. I'm going to kind of look over these. I've not seen any of these cards. Urban Bergogany. Untap this land during each other player's untap step. Interesting. Inspiration. Target player draws two cards. Trained Archile. One, one, one with lifelink. Survey the wreckage. Five mana. Destroy target land. Put a one, one red goblin creature. Oh, that's kind of cool. Of course, there's a cord. Skull rend. Hussar patrol. Grizzly salvage. Stab wound. Splatter thug. Our first uncommon, a Rosinus key rune. Azorius key rune, maybe. Thrill kill assassin. What a cool name for a card. Two mana for a one, two, a death touch, and it has unleash. You may have this creature enter the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. It can't block as long as it has the counter. Huh. That makes it really attacker centric. Our last uncommon is a Nivix guild mage. Two mana, two, two, a lot of different abilities. Draw card and discard. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. It's pretty solid. And our last rare mythic for everything today is an overgrown tomb. The land, so it could potentially be pretty good. You can tap it and add swamp or force to your mana pool. As it enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you, if you don't, the tomb enters the battlefield tapped. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I bet that's worth something. And then the tip cards before the land. That's really odd. But anyways, guys, leave a comment down below if, you, if this was a good pool from Ravnica. I assume it's got to be one of the better ones. But um, other than that, yeah. I mean, I think the main thing of today's opening is going to be this. So leave me a comment. Let me know. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, hit subscribe so you can see our new content coming out. Thanks for watching.